C of triangle and S A S. Right? Let's say I have two triangles. Okay. Now, I have been asked to find whether these two triangles, namely PQM and PRM, are congruent. So, this is one part of the triangle. And this is another part of the triangle. Now, if these triangles are congruent, then basically there has to be two sides are equal and the angle between them should also be equal. Okay? Let's see. So, I have triangle PQM and I have triangle PMR. Right? So, if that be the case, the first thing is that I have been given that PQ is equal to PR. That's given. It's coming here. Let me use a different color. Second thing is PM by 6 QR into two parts, which is QM and MR. But I also know that if this bisects this into two parts, then basically QM should be equal to MR. Why? Because PQ bisects these two into two equal parts. Right? So, this is equal to this. Now, under the SAS criteria, if this triangle PQM is congruent to PMR, then the angle, which is this particular angle in this triangle and this triangle this angle should be equal, right? But I don't have any clues which says that this angle is equal to this angle. So, can I prove it? The answer is no. However, what I also notice that PM, which is this line, is common to both the triangles. So, therefore, PM is equal to PM. Right? So, what I do here is that the three sides are equal. And if three sides are equal, then this triangle should be congruent under the SAS, SSS rule. But how do I find out that, you know, these triangles are congruent under the SAS rule. The answer is that in that case, I need to have some more information on whether these two angles are equal or whether this angle is also kind of equal to this angle. So, if we were told that PR, we are told here that PM bisects QR into two parts. But if we were told that PM bisects angle P, sorry, angle Q, P, R, then that would mean that this angle is equal to this angle. 
and there because this side is common we could have applied the SAS criteria because this side was equal this side was equal and the angle formed by these two sides in both these triangles were same however given the basic information that we have at this stage on that information we couldn't have proved under the SAS rule that these triangles are equal 